Nobody has been to more Sweet 16s than Mike Krzyzewski and Duke in the last 12 years, but it's the first return trip for the Blue Devils since 2006. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. With you on your NCAA tournament previews presented by Brother Printers. It's the 3-2 matchup in the East Regional. Villain over the three, Duke the two. And for the Wildcats, it's their fourth trip to the Sweet 16 in the last five years. Let's bring in CBS College Sports' Steve Lapis to break this down. And uh, Steve, when you look at this matchup uh, and you look at the styles of play, do they appear pretty similar to you? They are very similar. This is going to be a perimeter guard-oriented game both teams play small for the most part. Both teams go off the dribble. Both teams shoot threes. Both teams play predominantly man-to-man. -man. Very, very good matchup in this game. What about the stars in this game, Steve? And, and with Duke, you got a couple of guys who, who were fantastic against Texas, Gerald Henderson and Kyle Singler. Does, are they going to be uh, problems for Villanova in terms of matchups? You know, they're not really a problem because, well, you know what? Even though Villanova has thrived very often this year on having other people not be able to match them up. In this game, they're going to play a game that matches up with them very well and vice versa. So that's why this game will be totally different. But Gerald Henderson has had a tremendous year. Kyle Singler. The big key is John Shire now be playing the point for Mike Krzyzewski. He's kind of... Uh, fiddled around with that point guard position a couple of times this year. They've settled on John Shire. He's going to have his hands full with this Villanova team in this game. What about on the other side here, Steve? If there's one guy for Villanova that you think has to play better in this game than he has so far in the tournament, who's that? Well, it's Scotty Reynolds. I mean, to think that Villanova has gotten to the Sweet 16 with Scotty Reynolds playing about as bad as he could play. Now, he's leading the team and he's running the show, but not scoring nearly like he's capable of scoring. So I think it says something about Villanova that they've been able to get this far without Scotty Reynolds playing well. A lot of guys have stepped up for them. Yeah, they absolutely have. Uh, Dwayne Anderson has been one of those, Reggie Redding another, but a guy that's been a consistent all year long, that's been Dante Cunningham. The game he has against Duke, will that determine whether they win or not? He could be the key in the game because he's the one guy that Duke does not really have. They don't want to play Brian Zubek too much in this game because Dante Cunningham, too quick, will take him out. And if there's a guy in this country that can shoot the ball from 15 feet and in with accuracy all the time, it's Dante Cunningham. Steve, it's a great matchup. You've got a great matchup of coaches, Jay Wright and Mike Krzyzewski. They've never met in the tournament. Uh, but it's one of those matchups that can go either way. Which way are you leaning? I like Villanova in this game. I think right now they're playing with the best chemistry. I think they've gotten themselves on a roll. They defend very well. They play hard. Not that Duke doesn't. I just feel like right now it's their time. All right, we'll see how it all plays out. It's the 2-3 matchup in the East Regional in Boston on Thursday night. Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And, of course, you can see Steve on CBS College Sports all throughout the rest of the tournament. And don't forget, March Madness On Demand is where you can also see every single game of the tournament live online for free. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.